Welcome back. All right, so in this lecture, what we're going to do is focus on exporting out the height map from Houdini. Okay, so let's jump back into Houdini and get started. All right, so here is where we left off after the YouTube series here. Um, and so what I want to do is I want to get this height map. So if we actually just turn on this height field distort. Now, if you are um, just entering into the course without having watched the YouTube series, uh, this file is available for you in the Houdini project um, that's available in the download. And so you'll find it in landscape layers generation 002.hip. Okay, so I'm going to turn on the height field distort node here so we can take a look at our landscape and all its glory. And so what we want to do is we want to get this information out into a format that we can import into Unity, and that format is a RAW format. Unfortunately, Houdini doesn't export to RAW, which I find just crazy, because um, it can export to just about everything else except for RAW. <laughs> so uh, we have to do a few things uh, to get it into that format. So the first step to doing that is we want to drop down a height field output node. All right, now this node is actually just an HDA, uh, so you can double click on it and see all the nodes. All right, it actually just contains a cop network. So if we were to right click on it, say allow editing of contents, you can come in here and you'll notice that it just has an output node. All right, and that's just there so that the cop network doesn't render its geometry. And inside of this cop network, it has a whole bunch of nodes set up for exporting. All right. So this is going to help us. So I'm going to jump back up and just uh, say match current definition. And I'm just going to feed the output of that height field distort into the input of the height field output and just turn that guy on. All right, cool. So let's talk about this guy here really quickly. And what we want to do first things first is to determine where we're going to save our height map to. So I'm just going to hit this little file button here. And uh, we just need to make sure that we have this hooked up to our project. So you can either click the hip dollar job okay so i want to save this into my text folder or for texture okay it's a good place to put it obviously you can put it anywhere you like um, and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to call this uh, landscape 001 underscore height and we are going to save this as an exr okay so type dot exr after and the reason why we're doing that is because we want to retain all the resolution from our particular height map when we go to convert this to raw. In all of my tests that I did when I was uh, exporting to either Targa or PNG or JPEG, doing 16-bit fixed or floating point, I always got stair-stepping inside of uh, Unity. And so I found by exporting it to the EXR format, it worked just fine. All right, and so what I'm gonna do is leave it on the uh, RGBA format, 32-bit floating point, so we get all that data. And what I want to do is I just want to feed the height into all the channels, okay? Now, you don't necessarily need to do anything for the alpha. Um, by default, if there's no alpha in this particular node, all right, it'll just put a, a white alpha value in there for the whole texture, okay? And so now that we've got all of our height information pumped into each channel, so the RGB channels, uh, we can go up here and actually just hit save to disk easy as that. But before I do that, um, I actually want to change the resolution of this. So I'm going to set this to something like 1024 by 1024. We're going to keep it small uh, just so I don't hose my computer while I'm recording all this. <laughs> You're more than welcome to set it to 2K or 4K, whatever you want, but I just want to do it for speed sakes. Okay, so with that all set up, let's go and hit save to disk. And after a little bit, It'll export it out for you. And if I go into the folder here, uh, we have our new EXR file. Okay. So what we need to do is we actually need to import this into Photoshop because Photoshop does export to RAW. But I want to show you the process for this uh, because it's not overly obvious right away. All right. So I'm going to close out the lecture there. And in the next lecture, we are going to convert this to RAW.